Former Lands and Urban Development Minister Daniel Omara Atubo has backtracked on his word and made a return to active politics. In the coming election, he will be vying for the Otuke East constituency. Known to have openly announced his retirement from active politics, Atubo has defended his new stance. And when I said this, it was on many other conditions and presumptions. And uh, one of them is that um, I'd expected um, good leadership, not only in Otuke, but also in Uganda. I have come back to contest because I'm determined to contribute positively towards good governance in this country and the development of Otuke in particular. Atubo's first attempt was to take up leadership in the newly inaugurated Lira city. He changed his mind midway. When I looked at the, the suffering of my people, having the highest level of poverty, in some areas in Otuke, poverty can go up to 78%. He says the incumbent's poor performance is a major basis for his return to active politics. We are going to tackle the former, uh, the, the current member of parliament who has not performed very well. And secondly, the votes which were coming from other areas will not be there now. Omara Atubo served as member of parliament for then Otuke County for 20 years and 10 years as minister. He says the experience garnered over this period proves his worth. And I think I have a high chance of winning. The re my record is Sterling is very good in Otuke. And um, if they elect me, I think I'll be able to work with the, with the elected president and the government. A man of many hats, Atubo the educator and lawyer, says critics of his nature are needed in any democratic dispensation. Where you have um, a responsible opposition which criticizes the government genuinely for what the government is doing, like in corruption, abuse of human rights. I think this is good for Uganda. It is good for the country. And that is what I'll continue doing. However, the 75-year-old has also had his fair share of the state machinery. He was arrested twice in the Idi Amin regime and faced treason and sedition charges in 1990 as an opposition politician. The charges were later dropped in 1991 after the director of public prosecution lost interest in the matter. We're not interested in 